Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Eno Dre, and I know you guys were expecting a uh, um, banner tutorial today, but hold up, y'all. Just give me the Sunday, and I will have the video out. The only reason I didn't upload it is because, like, I redid the tutorial, but it just didn't come out how I wanted to come out. Like, but, yeah, just give me the um, Sunday, and I'll have the tutorial out. But in this video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to cut out a 2K, my player, and make the lighting look good on the character. So let's get straight into it. All right, so to actually get in my player, if somebody sent to you on Twitter, you just go on Twitter, right click and copy image. Now you go in Photoshop and then hit Control V. And these are my settings right here for the um thing. So you can just create it, go over here. All right, so I'm just minimize this and I'm not gonna try to cut out too much this video because I know a lot of people actually do have trouble cutting out. And hey, I was there before too. So I'm just show you guys how to do this, pretty simple. And man, I wish I would just got that band tutorial done, but let's just straight into it. So you want to go to the pen tool, and then you just hit P on your keyboard to go to it. And this is the tool I use mostly for. Some people use this tool, but if you use, just stop using it because it's way too stiff to get on the curves and stuff. So go to the pen tool and let's just straight to it. You want to click, and usually if I get to a spot like this, I would curve. So I would just hold like the tool. And do like this right here while I'm holding left holding the left click on my own mouse basically. So you guys should be able to see it with my mouse pad up. I mean my mouse board up. So like when I'm doing this, if I just want to make the cut stuck like that, I would just hold alt and then click and then it will let me go to my next cut with no issue. So you hit control Z to go back. So I'm gonna show you guys me actually doing this while cutting out. So hold my dead right there. Um, go to alt hold alt and then click go over here and I just usually curve on a lot of stuff hold alt click this and do my next curve hold it and then uh, hold alt and then click it and usually if you want to get around curves like that that's what you would just do but yeah man it's that simple to cut out and I'm just cut the rest of this thing out and it's pretty easy you just go around the curve and you can look at my mouse over there if you want to learn how to do it too. So you just want to hold the left uh, click on your mouse to come around the actual curve. You got to do it while holding it. Then hold alt and click on that. And then you can come around here and curve again and just repeat the same process over and over again basically. So I'm not going to speed this video up. I'm going to just cut this person out. And you guys should know how to cut out just by me showing you that because that's the main thing I do. And I pretty much just know how to do it good now because I just do it pretty quickly. So come over here. And I'm not going to try to cut it out too good. You just will curve like this, hold alt, and then click that. Pretty simple. Like if I'm going around an ear, hold alt, come like this. And yeah, man. So. Like I say, it's pretty easy to do it. Now for the hair part, I really don't, I'm not too good at cutting out the hair because I just go through it quickly. And the only thing that really saves me for making it look bad is my feather radius setting. But for the hair, if you want to make really make it look good, I would suggest taking your time on stuff like this right here. But I'm gonna just go quickly because, man, I got school, man. I, I gotta go to school, you feel me? I just recorded this tutorial and that junk messed up on me. So I'm gonna just scrap that video, try to get it out Sunday. So we just gonna go around the hair like so. And now we're getting back to the ear part. So just wanna hit a little curve right here. This is curving will save you a lot of time also. Just hit hold alt and then click that. It will save you a lot of time. So you just wanna curve like anywhere like these pieces right here, you would curve on. And you can just slow the video down, replay it and pay attention. Because if you look at my mouse, that'll show you how to do it also. So like right here, I would curve. Well, actually, I probably win, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to do that because that's literally the main thing I do when I cut out. And that's really what a lot of people have trouble figuring out how to do because if you don't do it, you can waste a lot of time. So, yeah. Just sometimes you don't have to hold alt at the end of every one, also. You just kind of go with the flow on it. So, come around like that. And you just want to get to the end. 
like so so once i do this you just get to the end connect the dots right click in the middle make selection now feather radius is a big thing you can do zero or one if you do zero the image will come out stiff if you do one it'll come out like with the size blurred up and this is what i mean it saves me a lot when i'm actually doing this and the reason i select inverse is because I got the lines going across. If you don't have these going across, do not select inverse. I only do it if you have that problem right there. So I select inverse, then hit Control J. And this is what I mean by it saves me on here. Like, let me show you guys what happened, what would happen to the hair if I didn't use that. So I will go in here, uh, go back some, make selection, and then hit zero. So for me hitting zero, just select inverse and then control J. You can see a big difference. The hair looks really stiff. And this is a lot of problems with like new designers. They use that and then the hair looks stiff because they didn't take their time on it like I don't do. But yeah, just do it like I told you guys. I recommend use one feather radius. If you know the hair, it's not gonna look good. So select inverse, control J, and it will make it look better. Now for the lighting part, I usually only use this for bad screenshots, but it's many different ways to make it look good. You really can just go to adjustments, shadows and highlights, and then do this. Like this is the easiest way to do it. If you wanna get advanced with it, you can even go to curves and turn that up also. And you can see the difference between the lighting. But I don't use, use curves too much. I go in um, camera raw filter, and I'm gonna show you guys why I do. So I just go in camera raw filter, and I still don't know how to fix that. If you do, let me know. But I just turn my highlights up, turn my shadows up. You can turn your whites up. And you can turn some of it down even if you want to mess with it like that. So let's say if I want to turn my blacks down, I can turn that down and kind of make it look way different. And you can hit Ctrl Z to see the difference. Now, this is not a part of the video, but if you have a bad screenshot, one thing that would help is reducing the noise. Like it helps because it kind of takes down the quality and the texture a lot also so yeah that is how you do it but you guys just take more time when you actually do it i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you drop a like and subscribe